Good evening, everyone. I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Tan Trung. If New Orleans is synonymous with fine food, one woman helped make that so. Ella Brennan, the matriarch of the Brennan family and the force behind Commander's Palace. Miss Ella, as she preferred to be called, passed away today at the age of 92, but not before leaving a lasting mark on New Orleans cuisine and the city itself. Ella Brennan was one of the most respected and beloved women in the food world, not just in New Orleans, but across the nation. So it might surprise you, she couldn't cook, but she had great taste, and that came early. Well, I learned all that from my mother, you know, I mean. Your mom was a great cook, wasn't she? She was a phenomenal cook. Phenomenal is a word many would use to describe Miss Ella. For more than 60 years, she and the members of her famous food family helped define a new brand of Creole cuisine in the city. And are you comfortable when people say you may be the most influential restaurateur in America? Of course I'm uncomfortable with that. Who could possibly be that? That's not true. When you hang around long enough, all kinds of good things happen. And good things did happen to Ella Brennan and the thousands of people she served at her uptown restaurant. Brennan learned the fine points of fine dining from her older brother, Owen, who opened Brennan's on Royal Street in the 1950s. She and her siblings built the restaurant's national reputation. But then a family split after Owen's death left Ella without a job. We didn't know what to do. I mean, what were we going to do? I mean, I've been at Brennan's all my life. We just decided, okay, okay, we can run the best restaurant we know how. That restaurant would be Commander's Palace, an eatery with 19th century roots. One of Ella's first jobs was finding a chef to lead the restaurant. She picked Paul Prudhomme, an unknown from Cajun country. He and Ella Brennan would put a new brand of New Orleans food on the map. Following Chef Paul was a young newcomer named Emeril, then award winners Jamie Shannon and Tori McPhail. All have earned rave reviews in the food world and have given Ella Brennan the credit for it. In this interview with Eric Paulson, she explained what she did for her chefs. I'd say to them, tell me what you think. What are you thinking today? What, 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 why is such and such on the menu? Why are you a chef? Why, 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 why? Forcing them to think that they wanted to be part of something like this. It wasn't just a job. That's the first thing you have to tell them. It's not a job. I mean, because if, if that's what it is, you don't belong here. The Commander's is a restaurant that is joy. I mean, people come there for fun, to relax. They want a great meal. They really do want the best you can give them. But the, it's part of the experience. And that you talk with the young chefs that we brought, that was one of the most difficult lessons to teach them. They all had the talent to be friendly and warm and outgoing and that sort of thing. What they didn't realize they were supposed to do in their job. Somebody had to tell them. That somebody was Ella Brennan. And her love for people and for food and drink made people love her back. And boy, has it been fun. I mean, I'm not, I'm not joking with you. I mean, we worked our tails off. But when we finished, we had fun. I mean, and while you were doing the work, working with people is one of the most exciting things on earth. 